Hello everyone, Nick here to play another episode of Feed Me! So, let's get started right now. Invite in all our guests. Lots of nice fresh produce to work with, thank you. Order in meatloaf. Okay, I gotta check what meatloaf is going to be all about. Okay. So... Meatloaf is number 20 on the recipe list. It requires three ingredients. Meatloaf uh, is yes on beef, no on salmon, no, no, no. Yes on mushroom. And onion. So it's beef, mushroom, onion. Okay. So... Okay, so... Okay, so we're gonna do beef, mushroom, and onion. Jumbo, the best. Okay, so there we go. Beef, mushroom, and onion. You do not use salmon and you don't use chicken. Pork is okay. That goes in the red. You pull off this artisan dish. Total level 50. Jumbo fighting power makes winning easy. Dealt 50 damage. Meatloaf, absolutely incredible. I'm stuffed. So we gotta do some culinary research to get rid of the egg and tomato. And it's always important to do culinary research after just to get rid of the rest of the leftover ingredients. So egg and tomato out of the way. So that ends this episode of Feed Me. Very quick, uh, I mean, Feed Me is a very fast game. And that's what I kind of like about some of these games. If you, like, pull out your 3DS for a convention and are playing these games, you can go through each one of these pretty quickly. Um, unlike, uh, Warrior's Way or Monster Manor, you'll be playing for, like, at least a good 15-20 minutes, and when you're sitting in a line and you're trying to get tags as fast as possible, you know, Feed Me, and Market Crashers, and Slot Car Rivals are going to be much faster games. So I have to applaud uh, the creators of these games. They really are understanding that no one wants to be sitting around for 15-20 minutes. So kudos to those people. Thank you for understanding that the, you know, in a convention setting. But anyway, that was Feed Me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye!